Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire, and I'm super excited to be taking a look at this video today. Today, I'm going to be looking at a showcase performance by Thomas Ladder and Ojo Alos. I haven't seen these dancers in years. I think the last time I've seen them, I was in Thailand. Long time ago, they were good dancers then, but I don't even know what to expect. I know it's gonna be good, but I don't know how good. So let's just jump right into it. Let's go. It just starts. Oh, camera changing. Nice. Ah, like that. Oh, that was good! Yes! Voyage! Oh, okay. Guys, I got to tell you honestly, I was thoroughly entertained with that. I, th this is one of the types of videos that makes me happy. I know this has been an unprecedented year for the whole planet with the whole issue of us being in isolation and Lindy Hop kind of being stymied for a season, you know, in the sense of us being able to go to events and do what we normally do. I was hoping that there would be some couples this year that would actually put effort into their video editing. This is an example of using technology to amplify the Lindy Hop dancing. I gotta say, this, this was probably the best editing I've seen in the last year and a half. I've watched many videos. I've seen hundreds of dancers use a lot of video editing and it's usually at the expense of the dancers. But for whatever reason, whoever edited this, they have a very professional director's eye. They're knowing literally how to amplify the dance moves, particularly during the transitions. The choreography in this is outstanding. I gotta tell you right now that I've seen some moves in this video that I've never seen before. I'm one of the kind of dancers and judges who appreciates creativity. And this, this particular video and performance has such a beautiful, nuanced presentation of two personalities. It's memorable. This is what I wanna see more of. This was fantastic. I, I gotta tell you right now, like I said, the video editing is fantastic. Particularly at this point right here, you can see the dancers kind of coming in, they do their little movements, and bam, they do a transition there, and I thought, okay, that was good. There was nothing that was disruptive about it, and the movements, that little move he threw her out doing, that is just fantastic, fantastic dancing. My favorite uh, element that they did was this little moment. It was just a simple trick, just a simple little deal. Him going up right here, she catches him, she, he kicks over, bam, the whole scene changes. They go right into some move, it just, all of it. And this move right there, simple choreography, 
done in a, and in a way that amplifies everything that I love about performances. I have the lack of an audience screaming. I don't have any flags in the background because this is not done at a stationary hotel like we normally have every year. So my expectation is a little low when it comes to being entertained. But guys, they are nailing it. Just simply editing their moves in the right spot amplifies their movements. Now, I gotta say, even without the effects, they have some clever movements that are still super appealing. Now, one, there's one little thing that I noticed though. There's one thing that I noticed that the technology kind of numbed me to. It kind of caused me to ignore. And that's the fact that many of their special moves that they have, I think could have been placed at better spots. It, here's what I mean, because I loved all of the special moves. Any of the special lifts, uh, particularly the ending point where he catches her and she does a little trick, a little spot there and they land like that. And then it, it just kind of transitions to the end. That was probably the best timing for me. But some of those other movements I think could have been put at a higher point in the music to, to really put the icing on the cake. And I don't know, sometimes it's just that way where the song may not like modulate at a point where you can kind of put moves at that, that zenith point of emotion where the audience goes, yes, that's where it needs to go. Some songs are a little bit more mellow. This was a, this was like a, like a campy, silly song. So there were, there were points where there was a lot of uh, unexpected little sounds. And so I think that that was a little distracting to the movements that they had. They, they have some incredible movements. I just think the song kind of let them down just a little bit because some of those movements weren't placed in a position or in, in, a, in a section of the routine with the music that, that made me feel something emotionally. I think the emotion that I was feeling was the surprise of how well the choreography fit the editing. And that is fantastic. So huge props to them. This is for me is probably one of my favorite ones I've seen in a long time. So big shout out to them for nailing this. This was awesome guys, it made me happy. I'm super excited to see more. There's so many different videos that are being submitted. I know there's uh, lots of events going on right now. One of the big ones is ILHC. This was one that was submitted for ILHC. International Lindy Hop Championship, for you guys don't know, it's, a, it's an event that's been around for a long time. So you got a lot of people who love Lindy Hop, they get together, they just put together some of their best stuff and they just put it out there. But people are having to submit their ideas on video, which is so totally different because you can't actually go to the event because we're not having a real event aside from it being virtual. So anyway, uh, let me know what you guys thought about this. This was outstanding. I, I, I'm almost gonna give this a 10 out of 10 if it wasn't just for the placement of some of these movements. This is like, for me, it's like the highest point you can get when it comes to video editing and true respect and love for the craft. They didn't put one over the other. So thank you guys, that was fantastic. What'd you guys think about this? Let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't started Lady Hop, get into the game. Check out some of my free courses below. Keep yourself excited. You can start dancing right there in your living room. If I don't see you guys uh, in my class online, hopefully I get a chance to see some of your feedback on Thomas's and Olo's performance below. Take care.